Hey guys, I'm Dimension Jump and today I do I'll be doing my top five favourite unique weapons and items from video games. Now within the world of video games you are given quite a variety of different things that can help you throughout your journey when you're playing through a game. Whether that's in let's say Resident Evil, where you're given a bunch of different guns that can help you um, defeat a bunch of the bosses in those games. Uh, whether it's uh, the Legend of Zelda where you're given a bunch of items in this particular dungeon that will help you fight off the boss and the list goes on and on and in today's video I'll just be going over some of my favourite unique um, weapons that you can find in the, and items that you can, you can get in some games so yeah so for number 5 is the Fruit Bazooka from Crash Bandicoot 3 now what I like about the, the Fruit Bazooka is that I think you get it after boss 3 or 4 in the game and what this does is basically it can hit enemies from um, long distances as well as boxes and this is, I think this is a really interesting weapon for because like, you don't really normally see Crash or someone like Crash to use and I think it suits Crash quite well just because I think it's really helpful when it comes to some of the box breaking and as well as I think some of the um, time trial Relics in Crash 3, and it's it's I, I, I do look quite like the design of it, and it, yeah, and, and I like it how you whenever you pull it out um, to use, you have like this little laser um, pointer thing. It's quite interesting, and yeah, and it's it's kind of fun to use, but but in terms of the game, I kind of sometimes use it, but not all the time. I I think it's because I'm more used to the original controls of crash, um, sliding, belly flopping, that kind of thing, so even though it's fun, I don't normally use the Fruit Bazooka all the time when I'm playing Crash 3. For number 4 is the Elemental Weapons from Breath of the Wild, and what I like about the Elemental Weapons is that they are used in, a, in, in really cool ways because, um, because you have a variety, because you've got the three, three types of Elemental Weapons, that being um, fire based weapons, ice based weapons and electric based weapons and I do like how you've got three different types of um, these kinds of weapons that being um, sword, great blade and spear and I do like how each they all use their own elements for their own use so for example if you use um, any of the fire weapons on stuff like grass or enemies then they'll burn up and for the grass, they'll, they'll create an updraft. For the ice weapons, they'll freeze enemies in place. And with the uh, electric um, based weapons, you can electrify metallic objects as well as water. And I think that's a really interesting thing because, like, uh, it re I think it adds more realism, I would say, to the game as a whole um, in terms of how the game is played because you can use all of these different elemental weapons um, to, your, to your advantage and as well the enemies can use those of those weapons to, your, to their advantage as well. And I do like how in each description of the weapons they are shown like they, this particular let's say flame blade was made in Gorn City or something or in Death Mountain and how this ice spear was made in the Hebrew Highlands or something like that and I think I think that's what makes this game a lot cooler because like because like you, you get to get get to see oh um to get to see like a sort of thing of how these where these blades were made and have like a little sort of like how worth these blades made that kind of thing and I think it's really cool and and I think these are interesting weapons to use in the game. For number three is the Phantom Hourglass from the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Now what I like about the, the Phantom Hourglass is that it's one of those items that is re kind of used but it's like only used when it's necessary, that being whenever you go into the Temple of the Ocean King. And what I like about the Hourglass itself is that um, even though it's time so you will have to rush through the um, temple, I do like how um, you get more mi more more minutes from the bosses that you defeat throughout the game, and I do also like how you can also find 
um, different chests that contain um, one minute sounds of the hourglass and I think that's really interesting and I think it's a really unique item to, to use and even though the game itself is okay, I, there are some bit, um, some part of it that I don't like, mainly the Temple of the Ocean King, but I do, I do like how Nintendo used the whole time concept thing for both the temple and the hourglass. And I also like how whenever you're in a safe zone or you're in an area with a treasure um, chart or a map chart, um, the time will stop. And I think that's like a really good thing because like if we, if you're looking at the safe zones specifically, because that will help you um, stop the timer, that can help you figure out okay what what am I going to do I, I, I'm going to try and do this puzzle before the phantom see me and then I'm going to try and get get to the um get to the lower floor and stuff like that and then f um, finally beat Bellum and stuff like that and I think it's a really unique and cool interesting item for number two is pokeballs now I'm talking about every kind of pokeball that you can find within the game I'm not just talking about the one um, the the red and um, white one. I'm talking about every single one because I think these items are quite quite interesting and cool to use. And I always like when when I'm playing a Pokemon game. I also like I always like catching Pokemon in different kinds of Pokeballs because I feel like that makes the game a, a lot more unique and a lot more interesting. Because you're like, oh, this Pokeball means that I've got my starter. This Pokeball means that I've got, um, let's say. A dragon type in it or something, or something like that. That's how I would. That's how I feel um, when I play the games. And I do like how you got like you know your normal Pokeball. So you got the original one, the Great Ball, and the Ultra Ball. And then you've got other ones like the you know, Dusk Ball, Net Ball, Moon Ball, Friendship Ball, Luxury Ball, and all these kinds of um, Pokeballs that you can use. And I do like how you can just find either some lying about or find. Or buy them from Pokemarts, and they're really interesting to use because I think they're just that what makes the game fun to like use because you can just catch a bunch of Pokemon and a bunch of different um, Pokeballs, and I think that's really fun. And I do like how um, if you want to, you can also catch legendaries in Pokeballs because uh, like it's not impossible to catch um, legendaries in, in just regular Pokeballs. It's not impossible. It's just it will take a lot of time because I remember catching a Rayquaza in a Pokeball, and that I think was like really, really cool just just seeing this legendary Pokemon in this just normal Pokeball. And I think it's really fun. And for number one is Lizelle based boomerang blades or weapons from the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Now, what I like about these weapons is that they are um, quite unique in the game they come from. That being Breath of the Wild. Because within the Zelda series, we have mainly seen boomerang, just boomerangs, either as an item, mainly as an item. Um, but then when Breath of the Wild came out, we got the giant boomerang, which is basically a metal boomerang that you can just hit enemies with, um, throw like normal boomerangs, and then came the Lazelle based boomerangs. And these boomerangs are basically blades, but with a boomerang, a metal boomerang on them. And what I like about these is that just like the normal boomerangs, you can just throw them, and they will, and and, and again they will just come back, and that's really interesting because like, again like with the elemental weapons from in the game, um they they take something unique that we might have seen from previous games in the Zelda series and um, added them and made them new and different, and I do like how when you use these weapons. You can just when you throw them, you can it, if it, if it happens, um, hit an enemy like either on the way, or the way back, or both on the way on and the way back. I think it's really interesting to use, and I think I think it's a really, I think it's just one, it's just one of those really fun weapons to use for every now and again, just so you can like try and hit a particular enemy whilst they might be in stasis or something. And yes, yeah, it's just a really fun, interesting weapon to use from from time to time. And I would highly, if you play, if you if you play Breath of the Wild, I would highly suggest you just finding a Lazelle based um, boomerang and just having a fun with it, just seeing what you can do with your playstyle of the game and how you would try and play or defeat certain enemies with it. 
So that's been my top five favorite uh, unique um, weapons and items in video games. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.